this is Judy here with you today. I'll be using the new Semog Girl Clear Stamp Release Nerdy Cody to decorate fabric to make pattern fabric for sewing projects. I made a fun little pencil pouch using the fabric that I decorated with the clear stamp set. So let's get started. For this project, um, I'm going to be using Stays On Ink. I think it'll work best uh, when stamping on the fabric. You might want to get some fabric ink or fabric paint, uh, but this is what I'll be using. I'm also going to use the little pie symbol that comes with this set, um, and that's going to be my, my major background uh, pattern. Uh, you will need some fabric. I'm just going to use some plain white fabric. Um, you want to make sure that it's nice and clean if you want to wash it uh, before you use it. And then also make sure there are no wrinkles. Um, you don't want the, your image to become crinkled under uh, any wrinkles there. So you'll probably need an iron. I'm going to use a small craft iron, but you can use your clothes iron as well. And just make sure that fabric is nice and pressed out before you get uh, started with the stamping. So let's take care of that first. It's a good idea to have a little swatch of the fabric that you plan to stamp on handy uh, to practice the stamping on and test your ink out with. Uh, just so you can see how dark you might want the image to be on the fabric and also how quickly the ink is absorbed into the fabric. You may need to press harder on your ink pad um, and go back to the ink more often. Also, I wanted to show you what, um, if you stamp on that wrinkle or any of the wrinkles on your fabric, what it might look like when you go back um, to iron it in preparation for sewing, you pull that wrinkle out and you have an incomplete image uh, in several spots. So you definitely don't want that, so make sure you've got that um, fabric nice and flat before you begin stamping. It's probably a good idea before you start on your project to um, decide what kind of pattern you want to use and which image you're going to use. Like I said, I'll be using the little pie image and I just stamped on a you know scrap sheet of paper some different ways I might want that to look. You may want to have your image um, facing the correct way and then upside down. You may even want a random pattern. Um, so just decide that on paper before you start stamping on your fabric so you don't waste it. I um, laid my piece of fabric out and I am going to use tape um, to hold it down while I'm stamping and also to give me a nice straight line for working. You could use washi tape or I'm using masking tape, uh, painter's tape, anything like that that'll come off the fabric easily afterwards. So I just um, put my fabric down, lined it up, and then I also made little hash marks showing exactly where I want to stamp because I plan to do more of a detailed pattern than a random pattern. Okay, I've got my um, tape on. I know exactly where I want to stamp. So now all I'm going to do is just using the stays on ink, just stamp like you would normally do on any uh, paper crafting project or anything else. So um, I'm giving it a nice hard press in the ink and on my fabric because I want it to show up nice and dark. So I'm just going to follow along stamping here above all of the marks that I made on the tape. So now I have a few rows of my little stamp down and I want to now remove the tape um, and stamp in between those lines. And here you could maybe turn your stamp upside down just to give it a different look. I'm just going to continue on with it facing the same direction and then just stamp in between each of the stamped marks that I already have. So we've got our fabric all stamped out, but we have one more step to do. Uh, just go back to your hot iron and press the entire area that you stamped on. You want to get every stamped image uh, with the hot iron to heat set that image into the fabric and get that, uh, that ink nice and set in. So I would iron the front of your fabric and the back. And once you've done that, you are ready to start sewing with your nice Some Odd Girl patterned fabric. So here is my completed project using my new patterned fabric that we made with Nerdy Cody. If you decide to make yourself some fabric and sew up a nice project, make sure that you go to Pinterest and pin it to our Audie's pin board 
We would love to see what you make. Thanks for joining us.